I'm MJ Marfori, and this is Celebrity Top 10. We give you the latest, the juiciest, and the hottest entertainment news, mapa local man o international. What am I doing? Yan ang hatid namin sa inyo because here's a countdown you shouldn't miss the new normal. You can't resist. Come on, let's talk about number 10. The behind the scenes of Don't Look Up will be launched in a podcast. So for those of you who haven't already seen Don't Look Up, Netflix has something for you. Or for those also who have seen it, the streaming platform announced that the podcast series The Last Movie Ever Made will soon be available. Ding, ding, ding. This podcast series about Don't Look Up will be composed of six episodes. It will give a glimpse on the production of the film and what they have decided to put parallelism in how institutions mishandled the COVID-19 pandemic. Ding, ding, ding. The series was all, will also feature some anecdotes from the cast, including Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Meryl Streep, Ariana Grande, Tyler Perry, and many more. The podcast series will be up for public to enjoy January 2022, so better watch out. May this be also a lesson for everybody to, you know, be upfront and be proactive about the situation we're in, right? Anyway, number nine. Brian Adams has a new song, and the title is Kick Ass. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. Acclaimed singer-songwriter Brian Adams releases Kick Ass, the latest song from his forthcoming studio album, So Happy It Hurts, out March 11, 2022, via BMG. The track is filled with classic guitars and his signature style of feel-good rock music. So Happy It Hurts marks Brian Adams' 15th release and features 12 new songs co-written with no less than himself. And of course, the album will be available on all digital platforms and vinyl. Wow, wow, wow. The talk of the town, Batman drops new trailer. <laughs> Warner Brothers released a new trailer of Batman starring Robert Pants and Zoe Kravitz. If you've watched the trailer, you notice that it talked more about the relationship between Batman and Catwoman. Ding, ding, ding. Well, kung may fan fiction, ako yung talaga ako interesado. No? Ano ba nangyari sa kanila? Ding, ding, ding. The bond between the two characters might signify more alliance against their villain or maybe villains. Well, of course, Paul Dano as Riddler is going to be there. That's one. And of course, Batman will be premiering next year. So stay tuned for that. And we are also ready for Top 7 premiering in the Philippines next year, but it's already in cinemas worldwide. Big, big, big news for Spider-Man No Way Home as it is it headed for the Best Picture Award in the Oscars. Yeah. Sony and Marvel are launching a campaign for Spider-Man No Way Home to be nominated and to receive the Best Picture Award at the Academy. Ding, ding, ding. Since the release of the new Spider-Man movie, critics, fans, and general moviegoers have been bracing its overall content and story. It even got a whopping 94% rating on Rotten Tomatoes' best-reviewed live-action movie about Spider-Man. It will be a big push for Sony and Marvel, but this acolyte for them, if ever, is actually not new. In 2019, Black Panther was nominated for the Best Picture category, the first superhero movie to be recognized in that category. But yes, let's see how this one goes. <laughs> Uh, you Jackman tested positive for COVID-19. Yeah. And you just remembered recently he got his booster, right? Ding, ding, ding. You Jackman himself announced that he did test positive, but experiencing mild symptoms. Thank God. Thank you for the booster. Ding, ding, ding. And because of that, the musical The Music Man will be canceled, canceled for a while. You was expected to return to doing the shows after one week, and all the tickets for the canceled performances will be refunded or exchanged at point of purchase. So, yes. But anyway, guys, before we move on, we just want to say congratulations! <laughs> Team Clinica Flavier for winning Best Public Service Program at the Catholic Mass Media Awards. And just goes to show how amazing the 1PH team is. Congratulations, everybody. Anyway, we're 4.15 p.m. on 1 News with Replace at 10 on 1PH. We have an ongoing telethon today. I'll be hosting at 6 p.m. onwards until Madaling Araw, 12.30 a.m. <laughs> Do stand by for the performances because talagang grabe. 
ah, pwede ko na ba i-announce kung sino? Piolo, Jaja, at kung sino-sino pa. You know the drill. It's like ASAP on TV5 again. And you're gonna watch that through a telethon. So SB19 sisters, what, are, what, we're, what we're gonna talk about halfway on the show, it's Kaya who will release the single Kaya. After being publicly la- launched last month by Show BT Philippines, a global entertainment company responsible for SB19, yes, we're talking about Kaya again, derived from the Filipino word, which means finding one's own courage. The upbeat electropop track tackles the importance of coping in turbulent times. Well, let's see where Kaya goes and talaga naman ano mangyayari, di ba? And now, ito, ito rin gusto natin malam kung ano mangyayari after this item and about this person. Army Miliare supporters, uh, after departing from UDD, she did thank them. And fans of the Up Dharma Down were shocked, of course, by the announcement. But it was since last June that she said she did leave the, ta- the recording company, Terno, uh, where UDD is part of, right? So in her tweet, she is in awe of the kind messages she has been receiving. And she said that she is suspecting the worst and for a long time didn't feel safe telling her story. Think of, thinking people wouldn't understand. She ended that she never received so much compassion in her life. So thank you for that. Another OPM grade for number three is our topic. Six Cycle Mind to offer 20th anniversary concert for Typhoon Odette victims just like us opium bands at cycle mind will be holding its 20th anniversary concert tomorrow and of course for the benefit of the victims of typhoon odette in desayas and Mindanao. the band known for their songs like biglaan sige makaka-raise kaya ako ng funds pag ako yung kumanta na sige alam mo yun yung pagkunwari diba there's there's the group session with your friends i would sing Sige, and bigla, hindi ah, mo man lamang na 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 I'm sorry, I just had to. I mean, it's the end of the year. Just, you know, give me some time to enjoy the songs as well. But yeah, I'm gonna sing it again. It's been a while. Anyway, going back to this Upside upside Down has partnered with Buy TV, business leading digital network by Social. And Visma's largest digital, digital talent agency at Bicon and Mass, the Philippines' largest gathering of creators and influencers for the fundraising concert. Additional funds collected during the concert will be used to purchase more drinking water, non perishable food, and medicines for the affected victims of Typhoon Odette, which occurred December 16, 2021. The fundraising concert will be hosted by Cebuana creator Jen Barangan whose family has also been severely affected by the typhoon. The concert is free of charge and may be accessed via Six Cycle Minds official Facebook page and YouTube channel, but we do encourage, please give what you can. Number two, some lols for us from the lol host herself. Have you seen it already? (laughs) Only Alex. Only Alex Gonzaga. (laughs) So, two weeks ago, tinatanong ako ni Alex Gonzaga na number ni Cal Yodi. Na ngayon, gets ko na kung bakit. Eto yun! Dapingi na pamas ko from presidential and vice presidential aspirants. So, once again, entertained her subscribers. That's what Alex Gonzaga did as she uploaded a pamas ko video on her YouTube account. Christmas caroling is a regular tradition here in the Philippines, but did elevate it by of course sending it out and performing in front of our future uh future president vice presidents uh, vice president yeah so the content is currently the top trending video on youtube philippines with over four million views <laughs> the pamasko she got went to good ways as her team brought and prepared noche buena packages and distributed it to different families she even donated of course to typhoon odette Number one. MMFF big winners call for support for local films. So the call for support, of course, is very much in need during the speech at the Gabi ng Parangal film producer attorney Joji Alonso told moviegoers that it's okay to wait for Spider-Man No Way Home but still support Filipino movies. Take a listen. 
para po sa nagsasabi na sana hindi natuloy na ang MMFF at mauna na po si Spider-Man, pakiantay na lang po sa January 8, please. In the meantime, pakilikin naman po natin ang pelikulang Pilipino. Sobra-sobra po namin pinaghirapan lahat ang paggawa ng mga pelikulang ito. Sana naman po, huwag din naman kami um, pabayaan. Kasi this is for, for everybody. Paano na lang po tayo kapag wala na pong kagawa ng pelikula. So please support Filipino Films. Salamat po. Best Supporting Actor winner John Arcelia echoed Attorney Joji's statement is guesting at Chrissy per minute. Check this out. Minsan hindi ho naman natin talaga mas pipilit ang mga Pilipino. Kaya para po sa akin sana, ang pag ganito hong pagkakataon na ito po ay para naman sa industriya at para sa ating kapwa Pilipino, I think siguro po ang minsan ay inoobliga ang pagmamalasakit. Kasi kung, kung uh, kasi pa, ito po ay hindi lamang naman, uh, pag nanood kasi tayo, ito ay also pagtulong sa ating mga producers, pagtulong sa mga artista, pagtulong sa mga uh, taong taga-pelikula. Kasi matagal po dalawang yeah. taon na, na tayo. Ang dami hong nawalan ng trabaho, ang daming nabawasan ng kita na talagang nahirapan oh. hong um, survive no? uh, financially at sa, sa, sa livelihood nila sa pang-araw-araw na pangangailangan. Kaya actually po, uh, siguro sa, sa isang Pilipino, sa tenga o sa mata ng isang Pilipino, gusto ko pang sabihin sa atin na minsan po ang, ang Uh, panunood po ng yearly lang naman to na once a year uh -huh. ay kasama po, po sa ating pagiging Pilipino at pagmamalasakit sa ating mga kapwa uh, Pilipino na nagtatrabaho sa industriya ng pelikula. Totoo, po, totoo yan. Let's all support local films, guys. That's it for today. Before we end, just a warning for everybody that there is a COVID-19 surge and it's looming once again. And it's not really to scare, but to remind everyone to continue. Please be vigilant, wear your mask, disinfect, practice social distancing, get vaccinated, get your boosters. I'll see you guys tomorrow, mga kapatid. Maglista, mga count on Mondays to Fridays, 4.15 p.m. on 1 News and 3 Plays at 10 on 1 PH. I'm MJ Marfori. Thank you so much for joining me. Until tomorrow. Ta-ta!